Here it is after driving a half mile. So that's a pretty bad leak, I think. And it clearly is worse when running or the transmission gets any pressure. Now, down here, doesn't look like where I initially thought I had my issues. Doesn't look like I have anything going on there. But this is clearly where all my trouble is. And I'm hoping that just replacing a hose would do it. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just regular hose clamped on with these spring clips. Um, so maybe, you know, it's a good idea. It looks like it's another spring clip up there. Hard to get on the video, but you can see the other line. I think that's the transmission cooler. So might as well replace that. And then over here, yeah, this hose looks like it's really easy to replace too. There's the, the new fitting for the radiator. Yeah, I guess maybe replace all these clips too while at it. Um, you know, the other hose coming out of the radiator goes over here. I think that I blew the this line right here, which I'm, I'm assuming is the low pressure line, and that's the high pressure line that is having issues right now. It's a shame that they didn't use aluminum when um, they made those. You know, that's aluminum over there. So why not use aluminum on here? I don't know. But I just got to get a new part and make a big old mess and remove two nuts. And, you know, that's that one right there. Um, uh, it's hard to see. That one right there. And then, you know, that one right there. And that should allow me to remove that line. Just have a big old spilly mess.